My name's Carmen McDonald. You know, when you're out trolling the mountain lakes, sometimes it's a new piece of water that you've never fished before. Sometimes it's the water that you fish all the time and you're just not getting the strikes you normally do. A lot of times we go out and troll and we troll straight, one direction, maybe back again, between point A and point B. Here's something to try. Instead of trolling in a straight line, put some curves into your troll. Troll in an S, come to the right, come back to the left, especially when you're exploring new water or want to find what depth the fish are preferring if you're working a slope bottom underneath the surface of the water. By moving the boat from side to side, a couple different things happen. One, you cover some contour lines and changing depths. Two, when you roll into a corner, your whole troll gets slowed down. All your stuff sinks. Your presentation basically goes from being more the same to providing a different look. Then as you come out of the curve, once I come back the other way, the rod on this side of the boat's gonna speed up. So now all of a sudden, we just went from slowing the presentation down, allowing it to sink, to speeding it up and adding a little speed and raising. So by doing that, fish respond to erratic movements. You know, there's a trigger. There has to be a trigger to make them strike. If you just troll in a straight line, oftentimes they'll come up, have a look at your bait, maybe follow for a second, maybe drift off. What we want to do is give them a trigger to hone in on. Try trolling in S-curves. It could increase your bite on a tough day.